Hey, good morning, Auburn Trojans. This is Jeff Gardner, and this video is meant for our students and for their parents and guardians. Today is Monday, February 7th, and I wanted to show you a little bit about an opportunity we have for students who ended up with an E grade for semester one. And we've been telling kids uh, for the past few days in our school commons uh, in the morning and, and during lunch times about this is an opportunity. Um, I want to let everybody know that an E grade in terms of transcripting is exactly the same as an F. However, what makes this a notable grade is the E shows us at our school that a student came very close to earning credit for semester one, and we use it for that purpose. Um, the way a, a different school might look at that is they're going to see that it's just a no credit. The student didn't earn credit in class. What we try to do is create an opportunity out of this. And what starts happening tomorrow in Troy time, students who ended up with an E in their math, English, science, or social studies class from semester one will be um, assigned to a different Troy time. So instead of going to their home Troy time, they're assigned to go to one of those specific uh, core classes. And they will remain there over the course of one, two, three, however many days it takes to get their grade up to at least a C minus and their teachers will work with them. Um, the uh, students who end up with an E grade in a non-core subject area, they're going to have to work with those teachers. They're going to have to find time, email them if they still have them this semester, talk to them. We try to button up all these grades by the end of February. Um, and then also this year, uh, just because of the pandemic and we're trying to create as even more opportunities than we've had before, we're going to run a mid-year summer school model and that's going to begin today it's going to start today and it's going to go for two possibly three weeks if we get great buy-in from our students that have multiple e's and we pretty much have every subject covered i think we have eight teachers that are going to stick around from 2 30 to 4 30 or 2 45 to 4 30 every day after school except for fridays and then of course we still have our after school tutoring in our library and Typically, we have two, three, sometimes four teachers from different subjects to help out there. So what we're really trying to impress upon our students is that, you know, you probably only have a couple test makeups, maybe a project to turn in, maybe some assignments, but that's so much more time efficient and easier for you to do that versus retaking the class for 18 weeks. You probably know more um, about the class than your grade might show. So leverage that, use that time, use this time of February to take care of that. And then the good part about that is when you do get the passing grade, the teacher will make a grade change for you. But even bigger than that, when you start to register for courses, I'm talking about you sophomores, freshmen and juniors this year, when you start to register for courses for next year, that's gonna free up more space to take the electives you really wanna take. So anyway, just a heads up on that, uh, big pushes now until the end of February. We know that we have that break. Uh, third week of February. Um, so really try to get it done before then. Okay. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for listening.